Okay, so it's August 3rd, 2023, and you know what? I was planning to go to Valley Fair this week originally, but then I remembered I haven't ridden Matagani at Lost Island yet. So I made the, the decision pretty quick and pretty sudden to go to Lost Island today. So I'm here right now, kind of by myself, you know, just planning to ride Matagani just, just because I really want to because it was closed last year. It was really sad and depressing that it was, but... Hopefully it's open. I feel like I'm gonna say it's open, I'm gonna ride today, but it's actually gonna be closed when I get there. I'm gonna be super sad, but who knows? Only time will tell. Anyways, we're gonna head over to there right now. And yeah, pretty excited for Matugani. It's actually my first ever Intimate Accelerator because Top Toe Dragster was closed. Yeah, we'll see what the Intimate Accelerator is all about with Matugani. pretty good. All right guys, I did Matugani two times, once in the very front, once in the very back, and that is a fun ride, dude. That launch, like, it's only, it's not like the fastest launch, but like, it really goes when it goes, you know? Like, it's it's very peppy, very quick. Um, really like the elements, I like that vertical loop, how we could get a little hang time on it. I uh, get some air time to it a little bit, and that one, like, whippy transition after the loop is like, maverick level like it's 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 pretty good like especially in the back row like you absolutely get whipped from the other side it's pretty great and that last little just roll barrel roll at the very end that's a nice touch so overall very good ride definitely the best coaster in this park uh one i wouldn't say it's the best coaster in iowa i think monster still has a little bit on it but this is the best this is like definitely the second best coaster in iowa for sure All right, so now I'm gonna go try New Puko. I've already been this one before. I went on this one last year, but there was one part of the first inversion that was like super rough that I didn't like at all, but people are telling me they fixed it, apparently. I don't know how they did that because it's an old roller coaster. It's a SLC, but we'll see if it's better. I know exactly what it felt like to go through that bumpy inversion. So if I don't feel anything, or just a little bit, it'll be fine, because like, Outside of that one super rough inversion, it was actually a pretty decent ride, so let's go see if they fixed the Puka. A few moments later. Alright y'all, here we go. The Puka Air Coaster at Lost Island Theme Park in Iowa. I was here last year, I rode this thing, and it was pretty rough in one spot, but people tell me they fixed it. Let's see if they actually fixed it or not. Kinda hoping they did, because if that section was fixed, this would be a pretty awesome ride, but... Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Let's go. That was so terrible, I think you gave me cancer! Okay, so, yeah, they, they did not fix that section of Nupuko Air Coaster, as I found out the hard way. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty much the same as last year, it's, it's, it's kind of rough. It's that, that one first inversion, I mean. It's, it's just, it just takes you back and forth, you get a little head banging, like, 
in the back of your head. It's a little rattly too, but the rest of the ride, I mean, it's like shaky, but it's fine. You know, it's, it's fine other than that first inversion. If they fix that first inversion, that would be a pretty good ride, but right now it's like a one and done for me. But anyways, I'm just gonna chill out here at Lost Island. I already kind of ridden all the stuff I want to ride so far, so I might just go ride, uh, I might just go like Marathon Matugani to be honest, like that's like the best ride here. So let's go do that. This, this might be a very short vlog because of that, because there's not a lot to do around here, but yeah, whatever. I'll try to make it, I'll try, try, to, I'll try to make the most out of it. Alright, so I just got done marathoning Matsugani, and dude, I can't believe all you European roller coaster enthusiasts were trash on this ride. This ride is pretty good, and just for the record, America has better roller coasters than Europe. America. Yeah. Cold the water is. Remember the log shoot at um, Arnold's Park? Yeah. That was warm, icky water. Yeah, it's probably a lake water. That was a normal one. Yeah. Alright, drop number one. Oh wow. <laughs> I actually got a lot more wet than I thought. <laughs> Whew, can't wait to see. Ah, a little bumpy when you get to the top. All right, here we go. Oh man, <laughs> that was so much more. <sighs> okay, so I did the Utah Falls, which was the log flume, if you couldn't tell by my face already. It's soaking wet because you do get absolutely soaked on that ride and it's awesome. First drop is pretty good, second drop is definitely the best, so you get absolutely just just uh, demolished by water. It's, it's pretty fun. It's a, it's a good log flume. It fits this park really well. All right, so I'm heading out to Lost Island now. Pretty short day, but that's because this park is just smaller than most other parks that I visit. Uh, Matsugani was really the highlight of the day. Love that ride. It was definitely worth the price of admission. Worth the trip out here. It's a great ride. Lupuko still has yet to impress me. That that one first inversion, man. If it, if it wasn't so rough, that would be a pretty good ride. But God, pocket points for not, just not quite hitting that bar, you know? But the rest of the park looks pretty good. Very similar to what it was last year, but Utah Falls and the Mopti Guy is open, so that makes this park even better than it was before. But with that said, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you next time on North Star Coaster. See ya.